Did the Pakistan Taliban really did mastermind the Times Square's bomb, bomb, bomb plot two weeks ago. Sunday, Attorney General Holder said, we've now developed evidence that shows that the Pakistan Taliban was behind the attack. But Kit Bond, top Republican on the Senate Intelligence Committee, is not convinced. Senator Bond joins us now. Good to see you, Senator. Let's talk about your doubts. Thank you, Andrea. You don't think the evidence is uh, solid or is completely there, and you've been briefed. Tell us why. <laughs> First, uh, I think the problem is that uh, Eric Holder has executed a hostile takeover of the intelligence committee, uh, community, and that's hurting us. And uh, I believe. What do you mean by that? that? I mean, he is running it. We tried to get information for the Intelligence Committee all of last week on agencies that might know something about uh, the intelligence that was available on Shazid, the Times Square bomber. And we were told by three different agencies, the Department of Justice is controlling it. You're not going to have it. They won't let you have it. That's, that violates the law. Well, you and have oversight of intelligence. You're supposed to be able to command <laughs> briefings from the various agencies. We know what they are. There are 16 of them, uh, and there's a, you know, a, a director of national intelligence. You're saying that the Justice Department is not briefing them? They are, they are taking it <laughs> yeah, over. Right. They're running it, and Sections 501 and 502 <laughs> of the National Security Act require uh, Congress, the, the intelligence committees, be briefed. That's the only site the people, through their representatives in Congress, have. We've been shut out. Now, the particular problem I have uh, with uh, General Holder on this one is there are lots of suspicions, uh, there are lots of assumptions, but I don't believe, having looked at it, that it shows a solid tie with the Pakistani Taliban. That may well come out. But you remember what happened uh, when the Bush administration uh, went to war in Iraq saying there were weapons of mass destruction. Well, the, the intelligence underlying it was not good. Here, the intelligence underlying it still has lots of questions that need to be answered. They may show the link, but they have not, in my view, shown the link yet. You, Con positively. Senator, have you, and I apologize for my voice getting over this cold, but have you reached out to the Justice Department and asked for a briefing? Oh, we've reached out. To, I have a letter about a year ago asking them to provide us information on uh, the Gitmo detainees who've been released. Uh, we have asked the Justice Department for information, and we have routinely not gotten a response. I've written letters to the Attorney General and have not gotten a response. We got one response a year after we wrote uh, that didn't really respond to it. It takes them a year uh, to give us a non-answer to questions we ask. The real problem, though, is that the Department of Justice Justice continues to Mirandize or tell these people they have a right to remain quiet when they're terror suspects. There's no need for them to do that, and that jeopardizes our ability to get vital intelligence. Second, the Miranda warnings did not stop this man from talking. They waited a good long time before giving him his warning. This is not like the Christmas bomber where there was 50 minutes or whatever and they uh, had a dispute. And he's still talking. He's waived his right to an early arraignment. So Miranda, he, had, Miranda he, was not a problem here. And in fact, it, it, Eric Holder told David Gregory on Sunday he is reviewing whether or not Miranda should be suspended in these cases, legally suspended. Two, Two points. The fact that uh, Shazid is, is talking, Shazad's talking, that's good. <clears throat> but if they continue to tell these people they do not uh, have to talk, they're going to get some people to shut up, as Abdul Muttalib, the Christmas Day bomber, did. And I'm glad that uh, the, the Attorney General is now seeing that there is a problem with it, but he wants to keep it as a, a criminal prosecution matter. When you have a terrorist operating in the United States, possibly with links to overseas terrorist groups. You need to get all the information you can from him. If you're going to prosecute him later, uh, you don't need the uh, statements that he makes to prosecute him. That's The Miranda warning is only a procedural uh, device if you're going to use the statements of the suspect against him. There is no need. We should never uh, start off Mirandizing uh, a terror suspect. That is the, the uh, Department of Justice has to look at the law and get over that. Well, I think in, the, in a practical sense in this case, I think you could probably both agree that it did not make any difference, it has not impeded the investigation, but you do have a real issue with justice if the Justice Department is not letting the intelligence agencies in on what they're getting out of these. Uh, and one other thing that occurs to me now, Senator Bond, you know, 
they say that they are vetting the information that they're getting, that they are tasking the intelligence community to come up with answers as to whether when he says A, it really is true or whether it's really something else. So the intelligence agencies have to be clued into what they're getting out of this interrogation. Well, the intelligence agencies are sharing information. We are not getting the information in the Intelligence Committee. And one very high-ranking military official last week, at the end of the week, told us that uh, Shahzad was operating as a lone wolf. Uh, and that was the Pakistani Taliban's original uh, uh, requirement, uh, or statement. And we need to see what information that all the agencies of the intelligence community can put forward before it can confirm and you should go out and say it. We, right now we have, uh, we have ready, fire, aim and uh, uh, the Department of Justice is making the same mistake with intelligence that was made on the weapons of mass destruction before invasion of Iraq. That's a danger. Senator Kit Palm, the ranking Republican on the Intelligence Committee. And again, I apologize for my voice, uh, but we're getting through it. Thank you very much, Senator. Thanks for being Thank with you, us. Thank you, Andrea. Always a pleasure to talk to you. Take some antihistamines. I sure will. Thank you.